Celebrations in honor of Ukraine's national poet have taken on new meaning. In less than a week, a referendum is due to be held which could see the country break in two. The interim prime minister is having none of it. This is our land. Our parents and grandparents spilled their blood for this land. We will not give up a single centimetre of Ukrainian land. Let Russia and the Russian president know this. In Crimea, the countdown to the poll looks set to be ugly. Pro-Russian supporters were filmed beating up some of those who'd come out in support of a unified Ukraine. This pro-Russian man was also set upon. Outside Crimea, in the eastern city of Donetsk, these protesters made it clear where their allegiances lie. It's aggression, it's intervention. And that's why we have doing everything to defend our independence and to defend our unity. Western leaders continue to urge Russia to de-escalate the situation, issuing warnings about dire economic consequences. Well, I believe it is a miscalculation by Russia. It is a well-rehearsed plan that is obvious uh, to move militarily into the Crimea. But it has been decided on in a great rush. There are long-term consequences that I believe will unite the rest of Ukraine uh, more against Russian influence in the future. Ukraine's interim prime minister will travel to Washington later this week. A powerful gesture of support from the White House unlikely to have any impact in the place where it most matters. Barbara Miller, ABC News.